Hello all, and welcome back to One Tiger Nation News. Welcome back. I saw Mr. Wright in film for me, unfortunately, and I apologize for his performance. All of our mics now smell like sad, sweaty teaching. Anyway, here's a Roaming the Halls entitled Coming Home. So what dress up day for homecoming are you most excited about? Extreme Spirit Day. I have no idea. America Day. Decade Day, definitely Decade Day. I'm about to wear a tutu and everything. <laughs> Spirit Day. Throwback. Mine's color day, I'm gonna go all out. Spirit Thursday. I like Way Back Wednesday. What new dress up day theme should we use next year? I say we all dress up like Mr. Tillman. Bring back Gender Bender. Superhero Day. I think we should do a Western Day. Medieval. Superhero Day. We should do a meme day. We did that last year. Yeah, well, let's do it next year. Let's do it this year. Visco Day. Oh. Visco, <gasps> Visco vs. E Girl. Visco. What is the best part of homecoming week at RCHS? I think it's uh, the festivities of getting together uh, as a community, not just as students, but you have uh, alumni coming back and, and uh, rallying around the football team. The dance. Here's the thing, I never had homecoming in high school. We never, we never had homecoming. Um, and so getting here to where it actually is a homecoming, it is pretty cool to see like all the, uh, <laughs> all the dress up, all the spirit. The football game. The game. I agree. I like dressing up for the dance, like getting ready and stuff. Girls. The grand circle. I was going to say the parade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. The parade. I got the news. I just think the sense of community that you guys have and you're all participating in something and you're all like working together for a greater cause and I really like the idea of doing um, the carnival this year because it's bringing in the other schools as well so I think that's a really good idea. What do you think homecoming means? The spirit and stuff for your school and stuff like that. Uh, I think it means community. It's like isn't it like a town celebration thing like a birthday for your town or something when it was founded? Um, it usually means the teachers will dominate in basketball or basketball volleyball um, because we are yet to be defeated. Like when you're coming home to play a football game, the homecoming. It's it's all about community. It's all about the school coming together. Are you excited that Spider-Man is coming home to MCU? I don't know what MCU is. <laughs> I love all the Spider-Man Spider-Man films. No. I don't really care about Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him killed any flies yet, so pretty disappointed. Yeah, I like Spider-Man. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Tom Holland. Uh, <laughs> Hattie. Personally, yeah. I like Tobey Maguire. Who's that? Tom Holland? Um, isn't okay. he hot? No. Yeah, he is. He's like... Five, seven. And I'm glad Spider-Man didn't go away. He's my nephew's favorite superhero. So they would be really, really sad if, if he went away forever. Which one's your favorite Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire or Tom Holland? Tobey Maguire. He's just a cute little guy. Because this has been, a, can you edit that? Me and my nose out. Thanks guys. And now here's the news with What's New with William. Hey, it's Will, and here's what's new. First up on our roster, Homecoming. Now last week we mentioned Monday's theme. America Monday. So today, let's take a look at the three other days. Tuesday will be Clash Color Day, a day where each class will wear their respective colors. Wednesday's theme is, or will be, or will have been, way back Wednesday. Dress up like someone would from your favorite decade. Finally, Thursday will be Spirit Day. Show some school spirit at the pep assembly and homecoming parade with any orange and black apparel. Go nuts this Saturday at the 41st annual Squirrel Count from 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. Once again, any and all volunteers are appreciated. If you're not feeling squirrely enough, then stop by OCC next Saturday at 8 a.m. for the first annual Pawathon charity event. Bring your pets, preferably ones that are fit for walking. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave your fish at home. It's $10 for pre-registration at Ivy's Cottage tomorrow. 
and $15 for a registration at the day of the event at OCC. It's a great way to work off the gratuitous amount of tacos you'll be eating the night before at the VFW from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. If you don't feel like stocking up on the Pepto, you should consider attending the 7 p.m. homecoming football game to see our football team and marching band performance. It's a totally finished and wonderful show with the vocal stylings of Eric Combs and his daughter Bailey. And I assure you, I am not in any way sponsored or biased because I may or may not play the sousaphone in the marching band which will be followed up by the less than stellar, and at some points, honestly disturbing homecoming dance from 9.30 p.m. to 11.45 p.m. Some of you need to remember, you look gross when you dance like that. You know who you are. <laughs> Tickets are $3. And that's all the news we have for next week. Back to you, Langston. Thanks, Will. And remember, stop grinding, you sickos. What would your mother say? And now for those who don't know, next week is homecoming. So let's get a little more information on that with an interview with the student council. Hello, my name is Olivia Stieber. And I'm Emma Brown. And we're here to talk to you about the upcoming homecoming week next week. Uh, Monday, the dress up theme is America Monday. And there is a carnival for, to raise money for all of the clubs, and the tickets will go on sale, and they will be $3. Tickets for the dance will go on sale for $3. Um, Tuesday is class color day. The freshmen are green, the sophomores are blue, the juniors are purple, and the seniors are pink. Boys volleyball will also be that day, freshmen versus sophomores during fifth block, and juniors versus seniors after the varsity game that night. Um, Wednesday, is the theme is way back Wednesday and the powder puff game is starts at 6 30. There is an entry there is not an entry fee but um, you can bring donations for Salvation Army and the King and Queen voting ends at for homecoming court at three o'clock. Um, on Thursday will be Extreme Spirit Day. The pep session starts at one and then the parade starts at two. And then Friday, we don't have school, but the football game starts at 7, and King and Queen coronation will be during halftime. The dance is from 9.30 to 11.45, and the tickets will be $5 at the door if you didn't buy any in advance. Hope to see you there. And now, here's Sam who has a scoop about the seniors versus teachers volleyball game. So what's your favorite position to play? I like to play the front row where I can jump and, and block and spike. Um, I'm a spiker. I like to spike up front. Uh, I don't know if I have one. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind. I just all help out. Player. Yes, I'll all help out player. wherever I'm needed. If I need to set, I'll set. If I need to be the server, if I need to play in the back row. I mean, with the guys on our team, you know, Mr. Vall and um, what's your dad? In case you didn't know, uh, Mr. Duenas, Mr. Powell, Mr. Anselman, we just let them hit in the front row. There are big guys in the front row, but I'll do whatever I'm needed to do. Together really well. We've got we've got some people that can serve the ball and not even have a return. We've got some fantastic servers. We've got fantastic people who can dig the ball, who can set the ball, spike the ball. We're pretty much an all-around full team. What do you do to prepare for the game? Is there I anything? Just, all right, I just walk in. I just get hyped up. Yeah, we always need the hype person. I, I feel it. Yeah. I'm just, I just walk in and I feel it. All right. A lot of stretching, and that's about it. I just need We need to make sure us old people need to stretch out really well. We don't want to pull anything. It's, it's really mental for us. We, we are... <laughs> We've been so good for so long that we just, you know, we don't need to practice. We just come out that night. It's all mental. We just get in their heads mm -hmm. and we just win. Do you think you guys will win? I do. That's it, the plan. Yeah? Yeah. So the game plans to win. Exactly. Game plans to win. Pretty simple. All right. Um, and you think you, the teachers will win, right? Yeah, yeah we're pretty confident. We're pretty confident. Well, I think we're going to beat the juniors no matter what. They don't have that many playmakers that can keep up with us. I mean, we got Booskin on it. we got a bunch of Booskin boys, so we'll take them down pretty easy. But uh, I think we'll beat them easy. We'll play the teachers. That'll be a tough matchup, but I think we I think we can do if we stick together and work hard. Uh, teachers win. 
That's all there is to it. Game I mean, really, play. that's, yeah. Right, right. And what do you think the score will be? How much do you think you're going to win by? Um, it depends if we play the juniors or the seniors. Um, really, it doesn't matter. We'll win 25 to probably about 19. All right. If I really, if that really is the score, I think I earn, earn something. We will get you, you give me something. Me? Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, we're, we're shooting for um, we're, we're shooting for 25 to, to 5. Wow. Okay. Uh, teachers 25, the other team less than 25. We'll make it there to be about. I'll say, I'll call it a close game. You got to win by two. I'll say 28, 26, we win. All right. Okay. We've okay. kind of got this little streak going. So, uh, yeah. do, and how big is that streak? Uh, I think we're at 13 or 14 now, years. Yeah, and remind all the juniors and seniors what the win streak is. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, it's so many, I don't even know. Oh. Yeah, I am aware of it, but uh, I hate to tell you teachers that's about to come to an end, all right? This senior class is none like you've seen before. Class of 2020, taking over. All right, well, and that is Tuesday night, right? Tuesday night, after the, uh, the uh, junior versus senior game. All right, thank you. Thanks, Sam. And now, since we have nothing better to wrap it up with, here's Mr. Ryan doing cheer ratings. Hello and welcome to OTNN Charades. Next week is homecoming week, and that means football, dances, and school spirit. Ms. Holdreth has been kind enough to loan her classroom to us for this episode, so let's get started. Team Orange, send up your actor. That's all right, audience. Come on, we can get into it now. Yeah. Don't say um. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Still gonna pick up. Okay. Why do we snap? Time out. Why do we snap? Well, it's whenever people are editing, editing it to put the same audio in the mic and the camera because they have different audio tracks. Oh, okay. Anyway, all right, yeah. let's go. Hope to see you there. Okay, that's it. At six o'clock? No, five o'clock. Oh, redo it. Redo you have it. to redo it now. <laughs> There is a carnival to raise money <laughs> for all the clubs starting at five. <laughs> this pizza's healthy. You have, it's really it doesn't bad. say a time. I don't need to say a it's time. It's five to seven. 
from five to seven. Okay, starting here. Yeah, I mean, or you can turn around. Theme is way back Wednesday, so just dress up from decades before. And thank you, and hope to see you there.